One second. That's the wrong link. This is the link, classroom link. Kaustub and Rahul, those who have uh, not joined the classroom, first join the classroom and join in from uh, the classroom. Okay, ma'am. Okay? Yes, yeah, ma'am. Both of you, Kaustub and Rahul. In our session with the thought of the session okay i want a role number one to give us the thought of the session today yes ma'am yeah also thought of the day would be uh, which goes by you can't fall if you don't climb but there's no joy in living your whole life on the ground alfred can you please put the thought of the session in the chat box Oh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am, I'll put, it, uh, put them in the chat box. Yes, so uh, I want everyone to go through the thought of the session that Alfred has put forth. Okay. Alfred says, you can't fall if you don't climb. But there is no joy living your whole life on the ground. Very good, very good thought. 
okay it is self explanatory uh, you do not need me or alfred to just give you some light over it okay because <clears throat> even children can understand this thought it is so uh, simple and self explanatory okay so if you can't for you will not of course one thing is true that you will not fall if you don't climb but would you want to live your life on the ground forever okay and not climbing and looking for what is there uh, you know on the tall tree yes so with the fear of falling if you don't climb you may lose on many things that uh, many have seen and you have not okay so it's a very good thought nice <clears throat> so we shall begin with this thought today i can see only 48 of us are here so prathamesh uh, your class strength is 70 right yes ma'am so only 48 students join regularly yes ma'am 48 50 around only that much ma'am acha because this is not this is a practical session no so for practicals it is expected that the entire class is present yes ma'am mostly 60 maximum 63 64 people join okay but you should see that everybody joins for practical yes, sessions huh? yes actually practical session because they will not be repeated later and then what you uh, since we have a mini project if you lose uh, you'll not be able to you know understand what shall you do in the mini project part correct okay so let them know all right so let us begin i shall begin by uh, sharing with you the syllabus for <clears throat> the subject now uh, we have our course wireless technology okay so this particular lab is for that subject so in that course we will cover the theory for uh, wireless technology and sensor lab covers the practical part of it okay now in this practical part if you see there is a lot of <clears throat> there's a lot there are many things that you will find new and uh, very interesting and uh, so is the name so the name of this particular course is sensor lab i hope i'm audible to everyone am i audible to you guys yes ma'am yes yeah. ma'am yeah good so uh, the name of the course is sensor lab uh, we shall have practicals for this particular lab two hours of practical session okay and one practical a week all right so this is how it goes then we have term work for it uh, of 25 marks and oral okay now oral of your mini project so practically you will perform uh, and you will complete your mini project and you will give the oral of that particular mini project by the end of the semester hence your total of total marks for this course is 50 okay now what are the objectives of this particular lab now if you see in wireless technology we shall study um, a lot of topics okay but practically what all things are we going to see so in here the first lab uh, the first objective tells us that university wants you to understand and learn what are communication technologies what are microcontroller boards and what are sensors okay <clears throat> that is the first objective so now you know what is a communication technology yes or no you have studied so many communication technology and you will be studying more in wireless technology of course yeah so the wired communication technologies are clear with you you have studied that in cn the wireless communication technologies you shall study in this particular course uh, wireless technology course okay now practically you they are expecting you to use uh, microcontroller boards and you have studied 8051 microcontroller you know yeah so you must know what is a microcontroller what is a microcontroller board what are the pins in the microcontroller what are their functions etc so uh, the, those things should be known to you and uh, since you have studied 8051 microcontroller uh, they are known to you right and then we shall study different sensors and that is the essence of this particular course actually sensor lab meaning you are going to make use of sensors for uh, making your mini project so 
your you can use different sensors there are lots of sensors available uh temperature sensor light sensor there is um uh, ultrasonic sensor etc so there are many sensors that are available and you will use those sensors in your mini project so the sensors are going to uh, generate data and you have to take the data from the sensors and provide it to the user okay so that will be your project so what your project will be is you have to uh, take the data, collect the data from the sensors, whatever data has been generated. If it is uh, temperature, then whatever is the temperature of that particular location at that particular instant is what the user wants, right? So you, you have to take the data and give it to the user. Now, the data uh, that is being collected could not be in the same location. So even if it is in different location, your project should give the data. Okay, so it may so happen that, you know, a person from Delhi wants to know the temperature uh, of uh, Mumbai. Okay, so he is logged in over there. From there, he wants to know the location. So it does, it does not mean that the sensor data cannot be collected. It can be collected. All the sensor data should be collected, can be kept on the cloud. From the cloud, it could be taken and used wherever Delhi, Amritsar, uh, uh, Punjab, wherever you want to access that data, you can access it from the cloud. Okay, so that is how your that is how you will make a project. I will tell you more in detail, but this is since the word sensor has come, I'm just telling you. Okay, and that is the objective, first objective. You should know the communication technology, how communication technology works. Okay, communication happens between two ends. One is the sender's end and the receiver's end. Sender sends something to the receiver. Receiver acknowledges whatever is being sent by the sender. So that is communication. Okay. And there are different communication technologies that you all, you have studied, you will study. Yeah. Now, design the problem solution as per the requirement analysis done using sensors and technologies. So this becomes your second lab objective. What are you going to do? you will design a problem solution okay as per your requirement analysis and this will be done using sensors and different technologies okay so you will have a problem your aim will be finding the solution to that problem so problem meaning your mini project problem statement okay your mini project title is the problem okay you will find the solution to that problem by doing the requirement analysis what are the components you will need what are the different sensors you will need which technology shall you follow etc so as per your requirement analysis you are going to find the problem solution to the problem statement yeah so that is your second lab objective third <clears throat> is studying the basic concepts of programming uh, sensors and emulators now when you're saying you're making a you're doing a mini project using sensors so you need to know what is a sensor you need to know how do you use a sensor you need to know uh, how would you program the sensor how if you are going to uh, take a take data from the sensor you need to know how to um, you know how does sensor take the data and how do you communicate with the sensor to get the data Okay, so all those things uh, you have to learn. So that is the third lab objective. Study the basic concepts of programming, sensors, and emulators. Okay. Simulators, emulators we are going to use because uh, now here you cannot do uh, anything on the, uh, you know, hardware. So we shall use some simulators and emulators, which I shall tell you as we are uh, using them. Okay. Now, expert, uh, lab objective number four is design and implement the mini project intended solution for project-based earnings. So you have to design your mini project and implement your mini project, okay, to get the intended solution. Now, you have designed the solution here, but you have not implemented the solution. So you, after designing the solution, you have to implement your mini project. That is the solution that you have already designed. After implementation, build, test, and report the mini project successfully. So that is your fifth objective. All right. And the sixth one is improve the team building 
communication and management skills of the students now if you see the students uh, initially you know in the previous syllabuses that i have taught uh, we used to have a group uh, not all subjects used to have a, a mini project so hence individually many many experiments were carried out individually not in the team okay so uh, many a times these these points you know of team building communication between the team and management skills okay were not visible to many of the staff why because uh, everyone was doing their task individually okay now university has made it mandatory to uh, make their uh, teams okay from your uh, second year itself yeah so you are a part of team you make your uh, own group okay your small team and in that uh, you uh, we can see you know it becomes visible to us how you are performing in the team had you been alone how would you do it and if you are in the team how do you uh, go about making your team uh, team project okay or your mini project so that is your sixth point and that becomes a very essential objective uh, from the university point of view so um, th with these things really hold a lot of weightage okay not now but the time you step out of the college when you enter the industry these are the things you will be evaluated on and you will be looked at on okay so all right so these are your lab objectives now comes the important part so if i study this particular course okay if i learn sensor network lab what are the outcomes that or what will i learn what am i what will i know okay so on successful completion of sensor lab course the learner or the student will be able to what will he, he be able to do okay he will be able to differentiate between wireless communication technologies based on the range of communication cost propagation delay power and throughput okay so you'll know what are the different communication technologies and how do they differ from each other so that is your first outcome second is conduct a literature survey of all the sensors used in the real world wireless application so uh, students will be able to conduct a survey of sense meaning they'll know what are the different sensors that are used okay in the wireless environment wireless as well as wired mostly is wireless okay now the third lab outcome is uh, demonstrate the simulation of wsn using the network simulators which are as i told you there are simulators emulators that we are going to use okay since uh, things are online here so what are the different network simulators that the university has mentioned one is quantiki quantiki kuja okay quantiki and kuja is the os okay so they have not mentioned this but they should have then tinkercad for your iot related uh, so if i have to simulate and show you all the iot components and the working of the iot iot components if i'm showing you on the breadboard in the lab then we don't require tinkercad but uh, if we cannot do that then i have to use this particular um simulator okay so and then we have cup carbon so after you uh, use tinkercad and you have done your uh, hardware uh, uh, configuration okay on the breadboard meaning simulated it on the breadboard and everything all the registers are in place sensors are in place then you use cup carbon okay cup carbon gives you a wide view of different uh, aspects of your project and you can simulate and run it on cup carbon okay so that is your uh, lab outcome 3 now the fourth lab outcome is demonstrate and build the project successfully by using hardware or sensor requirements coding emulating and testing okay so these this is your after you make the project okay you demonstrate and build the project then the fifth one is after you demonstrate what is required your report so report and findings of the study okay so that is your lo 
five, fifth lab outcome. Then the sixth lab outcome is demonstrate the ability to work in teams. Yes. So since that was one of the objective, improve team building communication. Now, not only is that objective, we are also going to evaluate you on that. So demonstrate ability to work and research study. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see, are you able to work in team? There are many students who are very reserved, introverts who want to work in teams. And in those cases, uh, teachers have to play an important role. So since that is the reason we started from second year itself, so that students are uh, known to each other, even if you have uh, open enough Okay, now is it this particular subject or or this course? So, computer requisite mini background for networks. Not only that, so you have eight six microprocessor. I hope. Audible, guys. Yeah. So, uh, microprocessor, idea, you should have some idea of what is microprocessor and what is it, 086 microprocessor, what are the, uh, how does it function, etc. What are the pins, etc. Okay. Uh, then uh, you also, now they have not mentioned, but you also need to know Python programming because here uh, mostly you will use Python for uh, programming. You can use any language at that for that matter, but since you've studied Python, it is expected that you know Python, okay? And also 8051 microcontroller, yeah? So uh, these are the things that are that you've learned. You have to only, this becomes your prerequisite. Now, hardware and software requirements. Now, there are certain hardware requirements for this particular course and software requirements for this particular course. So you have to see that all these things you should have since we are going to have it online. Now I'm wondering, I don't know, maybe um, since this is the initial session, I don't know if I can uh, arrange it now. If not now, uh, maybe when the lockdown is over, that is in February, I may call you and you know, I want you to see how it actually functions on breadboard and using registers and sensors. Yeah, so we have everything available. The setup is all there in the college. But uh, now I cannot show you because I am at my own residence. So from here, I don't have, uh, so I can't show you. I can only show you the um, what do you say? Simulation on Tinkercad. But I would really want you to see it uh, and feel it and do it by yourself. And only then you will understand because you have to make a project, you know. So unless you do it, do simple experiments, uh, you learn how to do uh, pin connections and etc. You will not understand, right? So I will uh, try to have one day schedule for you in the college, okay, where we can actually do the pin connections and uh, see the pin connections and uh, learn okay and only then uh, we can you know use that knowledge for our mini project so i will try that is again uh, it is dependent on what is the uh, university's permission so if she, university permits us then i will not have any issue but again university as well as government so those permissions if they are available then uh, we can okay that again, I told you, uh, simulation online we are doing, but I want you to do it offline also, so that we'll have to check out and schedule accordingly. So yeah, so what are the hardware specifications? Now, hardware specifications, first and foremost, you require a laptop and a PC with minimum of 2 GB RAM and 500 GB hard drive, okay? Then you require sensors. So there are different sensors that uh, they have mentioned. Now, these are very few you may use the the there are a lot of sensors okay they have only mentioned few okay now this is dht 11 slash 22 dht meaning data humidity and temperature sensor okay then you have this pir sensor moisture sensor okay then you have mq2 mq3 hc sr04 moisture sensor arduino uh -huh. so these are your sensors then you have 
Arduino Uno mega board. So this is a mega board, okay, which helps you to connect these sensors and the registers and the other components, okay, so that it can, uh, it is, you can use it for generation of your uh, output, okay. You can connect that mega board to your laptop directly and then you can check your output. The output can be stored in your laptop, yeah. Or uh, you can also use Raspberry Pi. So if you're using Raspberry Pi board, then you do not require a laptop or a computer. Okay. So uh, Raspberry Pi itself has its own uh, uh, OS and uh, uh, microcontroller over there. So you can directly see the output on the uh, display. So there, it has its own display. You can connect the display or you can use the same display on the Raspberry Pi board and uh, you can check the output okay over there so these are the sensors and the uh, microcontrollers and the boards that you can use okay then you have wireless radio module so you can have you can use zigbee module bluetooth module okay and uh, mobile phone with bluetooth antenna so these are the modules that you can connect to your raspberry pi board or your arduino uno board for wireless connectivity okay then you have a breadboard the other components hardware components that you require are breadboard wires power supplies usb cable buzzers leds lcds etc okay so these are your hardware specifications which will be required for your lab sessions as well as your mini projects so you can limit yourself to these sensors it is not hard and fast that you can you know that you have to use these sensors but you can use others as well if you're using one of these is good depending on the project that you choose okay so we shall discuss about mini project maybe in the coming session but today uh, just understand that these are the components and i want all of you to please i will put this um, syllabus copy on the classroom i want people to just go ahead and check out the different these sensors that are mentioned and the other sensors that are available okay and accordingly decide on what project that they can do you know come up with good innovative project yeah so for that first you must know the components you must know how they work you must know um what are the what is arduino uno mega board what is this uh, Raspberry Pi board, etc. So you learn, okay, and then accordingly think for a good innovative project, okay. And then maybe next time when I am asking you to, you know, give me the details of your project, then you may have something in your mind, okay. So uh, do that, okay. Now next uh, is your software specification. Software meaning what softwares you will require for the sensor lab. So you will require an OS, okay, it could be a Windows OS, Linux OS, okay, or uh, if you, it's an hardware project that you're doing, Arduino Uno is the microcontroller that you will require, okay, but still you need to connect it to an OS, so yeah, XCTU configuration and test utility software, so that you will require, okay, if you're using Z Zigbee and also you require this, Cup Carbon, now, if you're using Cup Carbon, then you require the Cup Carbon simulator installation done, Okay, if you're using Tinkercad, you need to install Tinkercad, okay, in your laptop or desktop. Kontiki Kuja, as I said, if uh, Kontiki Kuja is needed, okay, then if you're using Kontiki Kuja, then you have to install Kontiki Kuja. And then you need an internet connection because it's a wireless project. Every wireless project needs to store data wirelessly and communication is mostly with respect to your internet. Okay, so uh, if say I'm asking you to store data on the cloud, you cannot store data on the cloud if you do not have internet. So it's better that uh, internet connection is always there. Okay. All right. Okay, now let us come to the syllabus. This was your hardware software requirements. Now let us come to the syllabus of this particular subject. Okay, or this particular course. Am I audible guys? yes ma'am okay now i would require a response from you guys 
because I'm going to ask you something that you already know. All right. So now let us see the syllabus. Now it says module zero is on the prerequisite, which we have already seen. The prerequisite is your microprocessor, uh, microcontroller, and your Python program. Okay. So uh, I hope that everybody has, uh, I think in MEP, right? You studied microcontroller and uh, micro uh, microprocessor. MEP was the subject, guys. Ma'am, in COA, we studied uh, 808. COA, yeah. Okay, okay. COA, you studied 8086 microprocessor and yes. 8051 microcontroller. Okay, good. So we'll just, what I will do is now, since you already know about it, okay, I will have one MCQ on it just to see how much of it do you know. Okay, so we'll have a short MCQ. Now, for that short MCQ, you will study, of course. Yeah, so uh, you will do your revision before you give the MCQ. So anyways, this prerequisite will be covered in that MCQ. All right? Is this okay? Ma'am, before that, can we have summary of it? Okay, so we'll have a short discussion of it. Okay, and then I will okay. have the MCQ. Yeah, a short discussion, meaning 10 minutes or so of all three. And then we shall go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So then after that, uh, first module says study of your wireless communication technologies like IEEE 802.115.1, IEEE 802.15.4, and IEEE 802.11. IEEE 802.15 is your Bluetooth, and 11 is your Ethernet. Okay. So we are going to study these technologies. All right. Then second module says sensors and their interfacing. So what are the different type of sensors? So study of the various sensors and display devices and demonstration of their interfacing using Arduino or Raspberry Pi. Okay. So here uh, in your first module, when we are studying the first module, we shall do the allocation of groups, meaning we shall, uh, dis you, you can, you know, form groups. Okay, first and foremost. So in your first module, when you are doing this, we'll, we'll make groups. And when we are doing the second module, we shall select the topic. Okay, so every group shall select the topic of their mini project. All right, now in the third module, which is wireless communication tools, we shall do the installation of the different simulation tools like Tinkercad, Cup Carbon, Kontiki Kuja. And when we are doing this particular module, we shall do the validation of our mini project topic. Okay. And finalize which software and hardware we shall use for that mini project. So once you know the mini project, uh, we know what components we will require and what software we shall require. So we'll see how do we... Uh, how do we uh, do that so that we shall do when we are studying uh, the third module okay then uh, fourth module when we do which is implementation of wireless technologies okay that is when you are doing the interfacing of arduino or raspberry pi with your wireless technologies which is uh, so if you we are mostly using so if you are doing zigbee or dg or esp controller then using the how do we do that so that we shall study all right and then uh, when we are doing that for mini project, we shall do the hardware procurement, meaning we shall buy all the hardware that is required because mini project cannot be a simulation. Mini project has to be a hardware project. Okay. Then uh, fifth. Uh, uh, so you have to study all those access technologies for your mini project. The last module or the is your mini project where you now you have you have everything you have done the uh, you have decided the topic then you have taken the what is it, validated the topic and finalized the software and hardware then you have done the hardware procurement now what is left for you is implementation of your mini project so first you will design uh, configure and test your mini project and then you will prepare the report of that mini project Okay, so that is your sixth module. Is this uh, clear so far? Guys, give me a response. Clear, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma I was getting some... Uh, 
is there anybody from outside uh cs south ansari okay south ansari yes ma'am in the chat i have put the link use this link and uh, join the classroom and then you can join okay now you cannot join from outside the classroom you know okay. that right okay ma'am okay, i'm putting the link again to you for you just join the classroom first you can see the classroom link the second one is the classroom link the first one is the meet link Okay, so now let's come back to our uh, mini project. Now you have understood the syllabus. Syllabus is clear. Now they have also told us what exactly uh, should you do in a mini project. So your first and foremost, students should carry out hardware-based mini project group, mini project in a group of three or four students with the subject. Now subject in charge or mini project mentor with each group. So now your mentor or in charge is me. Okay, so what it is clearly mentioned that it has to be a hardware-based mini project. So either you take the hardware from the college or you uh, buy the hardware. Okay, so any one of the two. It is not expensive. You can uh, buy it from Amazon or there are many places where hardware stores that you get these uh, components. Okay, and they are not so expensive at all. You know, a register is say 50 paise or something. Yeah, so it's not that expensive, but yes, if you want it, you can take it from the college uh, or else you can buy it, but it has to be a hardware project. Let me make it very clear. Otherwise, uh, the external will not give you marks. Okay, for a simulated project, external is not going to give you marks. Now, the second point that they've mentioned here is that groups should meet with the concerned faculty uh, during laboratory hours and the progress of work should be discussed and must be documented. So whatever uh, work we are uh, doing, it should be discussed and documented. So that we are doing. All right. Each group should perform detailed literature survey and formulate the problem statement of the mini project. Each group will identify the hardware and software requirements for their defined mini project problem statement. Okay, so now first you will do a literature survey and you'll make your problem statement. After you make your problem statement, identify your hardware software requirements. Next is you will design, configure and test your project on your own circuit board. Okay, so you'll have to make your own circuit board, you use breadboard and the other components and you are going to make your circuit and design, configure and test it. Okay, so next is interface using mobile or web to publish or remotely access data on the internet. So this is again an important part. You are not only checking if your project is working, you are also connecting your mini project with uh, on the uh, on the web okay so you so that your data can be posted okay or published uh, on the web and you any user is able to access that data anywhere on any part of the globe they'll be able to access that data from that location web location okay so that is important so not only is the working or execution of your uh, uh, project important mini project or the circuit board that you've created that is important, but you also have to ask, uh, publish your data or store your data on your on a cloud or maybe in a uh, web file or on a web server, which uh, can be accessed by all the users around the globe. Yeah. Then the detailed report is to be prepared and each group may present their work in uh, project competitions and paper presentations. So, after we finish the project you have to write one technical paper okay on the project that you have done and we shall publish it okay in a, in a good journal okay i triple e journal acm springer uh, a good journal yes so that is the last part then they have also given us documentation how do you document and what would be the chapters of documentation of the mini project so the 
report mini project report shall begin with abstract okay then you have contents okay table of contents or you can say uh, list uh, uh, topic list okay or chapter list then you have figures and list of figures and tables and then you have the chapters so there are different chapters chapter 1 should be an introduction chapter which should have introduction literature survey problem definition objectives proposed solution wireless technology use so that becomes your first chapter okay second chapter should be system design block diagram flow chart circuit is this visible or you want me to zoom a bit Okay, is this visible, guys? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so yes, chapter two. Chapter two of your report should be system design, block diagram, flow chart, circuit or interfacing diagram, hardware software requirements, and cost estimation. Okay, this will be your chapter two. Chapter three will be implementation snapshots, figures with explanation, code, and future direction, meaning a, a future scope. Okay. So all these things will be a part of chapter 3 and chapter 4 would be your conclusion chapter and the last chapter usually is your references so it could be your uh, technical references web references books okay meaning ebooks i will not say books now it could be ebooks okay so these are your references so you can give links to all your all the references that you have used for making of the project yeah then textbooks that you shall refer now, these are the list of textbooks that uh, they have given. Okay. Now, Fundamentals of Sensor Network Programming. So, this is again a good book. Pontiki Kuda User Guide. Okay. No need to download it. Okay. I have it. I will share it with you. Building Wireless Sensor Networks. Robert Faludi. O'Reilly Publications. So, yeah. This is also a good book. You can refer this book. Okay. Now, since this is a practical session, I shall give you whatever you require, but still, you may go ahead and, you know, refer these links. So, instead of referring the books, I would say there are a lot of uh, reference, online references that the university has given us over here. Okay, you can directly go on the uh, online references and you will get a lot of material over there. Okay, along with the installation uh, software to the usage the manual, the guide, tutorial, everything is available. Okay, so I would recommend that you go on the online references first. And if you're getting ebooks of these, uh, these uh, stated books, you can go ahead. Okay, so Internet of Things, hands on approach. Yes, you may download this book. Okay, it is available in a library, college library, but uh, ebook you may have to download. Again, comparative review of wireless network. Uh, mode technologies now modes are not a part of your syllabus but modes are something that are used in sensor network technologies okay so uh, you may go ahead and you know learn what are modes modes are like microcontrollers or small modules okay which you can use for your um, project okay mini project so usually using mini projects say you have some components put together and that becomes a moat and you can use that particular moat for maybe you know a particular um you uh, technology so if you have a particular project it you may use that uh, just give me a minute somebody's calling me from this is the third call i'll just take up that call one minute huh? Okay, uh, sorry for the interruption. 
let's carry on all right so these are the reference books uh, wireless sensor network technology protocols and applications by uh, daniel minoli so this is also one book which you will get a download for on uh, on the internet ad hoc and sensor network technology theory and applications by prakash agarwal dharma Pra uh, prakash etc so you you may or directly just refer these references because what we need is first and foremost is your you know you need to what, what is arduino right so over you'll get the software also over here how it works um sample programs everything you will get over here cupcarbon.com you will get what is cup carbon why where to use cup carbon the installation software you will get how to install that process you will they will tell you etc and manual everything will be there okay again um this if you do not download i have it with me i shall share it with you then you over here uh, this is for your i think this is for your kontiki kuja okay so for kontiki we shall use this uh, so you visit these online references you'll get a lot of material okay and if you get downloads for these books download the books the books are very important and they are very good okay so this is then uh -huh, term work so for this term work of uh, mini project okay shall comprise of two assignments so we'll have two assignments and a mini project so your term work will be given on the basis of mini project okay and two assignments all right now uh, how is the breakup your 15 marks is for the mini project and five marks is for assignment and five marks for attendance of your lab lab attendance okay so that is how we shall give you the term work oral exams will be held on mini project and uh, they'll be evaluated based on the project and presentation of the project getting me so this is clear so this is your sensor network sensor lab course yeah any doubts you may ask now You have any doubts? Okay, so next time when we begin, no, I shall begin with module zero. Okay, so we shall discuss uh, the module zero. Okay, in short, and we shall have a module zero quiz. Okay, and then we shall begin with module one. Yeah. Nobody uh, responds. So yes, no. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. All right. So today, for today, I will take the attendance, and then you may leave. Okay. And next time when we come, but then yeah, I will not leave you without some homework. I, the homework for today is you have to uh, know, or you have to thirty present. I have not taken the attendance at all today. Shubham. Shubham Pala. There is time. So, yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Kindly remind me, please. <coughs> yeah, homework for today. So, homework for today is you have to know what are the different hardware requirements so when i have told you the hardware requirements just go through uh, what are the different uh, sensors okay and uh, modules okay so just go ahead with all these you need to know